what's up? It's me Nadine and today I have a collective February haul for you guys. I decided that instead of me just doing a haul every time I get stuff, I would just do a collective haul at the end of the month just so it really limits on how many hauls I have on my channel. I know I have a lot. The awesome thing for you guys, hopefully, is that all this stuff is thrift and consignment. It's actually a majority consignment. Um, I have a weird feeling about thrift stores right now because um, around the area I live in, there's like absolutely nothing I can find that I feel like is my style. Um, it's just I feel like thrifting is huge right now, which is awesome because it's saving money for a lot of people, but I can't find anything that I like. So um, I've been spending a lot of time at Crossroads, and then I have some stuff from Urban Exchange, which is in Tacoma, Washington, because I was just there like last week or two weeks ago visiting Dylan and... Savers. I have just like three things from Savers. So enjoy this video. I have like a lot. Seriously, I had to buy a reusable bag from Crossroads. And this one's huge. So yeah, let's get into the haul. So the first amount of things I got is from Urban Exchange. It's in Tacoma. And it's a small little consignment store that has a lot of vintage um, finds. I thought that was majority vintage, but it was at a reasonable price. Reasonable I can't talk. Reasonable price, unlike other vintage stores. But this isn't vintage. It is Silence and Noise. Um, it is just a big, chunky, gray cardigan, and I thought it was really cute. Um, when I was in Washington, I was freezing my butt off, and I was layering as many clothes as I could, but this, like, sealed the deal for me. And this was about $12 to $13. I've been... Just warning you guys, a lot of this is a little higher priced than my usual haul, so yeah, but this was the 13, which is pretty cool because Urban's cardigans are like $50, so it's kind of like a steal. This is a skirt, it's a little midi skirt um, that cinches at the waist, I'll wear it high waisted, that I also got from Urban Exchange. It has like, I don't know, it's just like, just a nice knit skirt, it's really thick and I think it'll look really good in the spring with like a tighter top. Or it's not flowy enough to where it's unflattering to wear if I do wear a loose top. So I just thought that this was really cute and it was $7.99. I'm pretty excited for this just because I'm loving my plain clothes right now. I have been wearing plain clothes all the time. Like seriously, plain clothes rule. Um, this is Eco... Tay, Eco... I never know how to pronounce this. But it's just a, like a cap sleeve-ish tunic and it's asymmetrical at the bottom but not too much which is what I've been feeling um, I like asymmetrical but only in moderation so this was $9.99 and yeah it's gonna be cute with the belt and this is my last thing from Urban Exchange I thought it was so cute when I saw it I was like oh, I need to get it. <laughs> not really though I've been really into baby dolls if that's normal but um this is a really really cute shirt with the brand Frenchy. I don't know what that means but it just has this awesome floral print um I recently have stopped liking floral print but with this it's not overwhelming like a bunch of the floral print that I've been seeing but this was $9.99 and I just think it's going to be great for the spring because of the light colors and the sheerness and da 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 the next two, well, I got three things from Savers, but the other one is in the wash right now, but it's a gray maxi skirt that you guys will see, and I got it for $1.99, but you'll see it in a Strictly Thrifty or something. But um, this is just a little, like, chambray top. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of a scrub, but I saw it and I was like, oh, why not? It was $4. I think it was half off, but I'm not sure. It just has this little keyhole in the back. Sorry if I keep on looking this way. But I just think, I don't know, with some leggings or something, it'll be really cute. So this last thing I got from Savers was a little pricey. It was $13, $12.99. And I have been looking for a darker wash denim jacket that's cropped. I was very specific on what I wanted. And I've been eyeing some on Forever 21, but they were like $25. And I was like, I'm not going to spend so much money on a 90s trend. But I found this one and it's nice and cropped and I think that it will look great over like some dresses and the buttons aren't like overwhelming so I thought that this was a great find even though it was $13. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you the Crossroads stuff. Please hold tight because there's so much stuff. Like, I went on a selling my clothes rampage and I sold a bunch of my clothes. That's why I have constantly changing um, closet. I can fit all my stuff because I constantly get rid of clothes and get new ones. And da 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 da. I have a shopping problem. I will show you all the new stuff um, first because Crossroads has a section where they have newer stuff that retailers give to them so they could sell it at a kind of higher price than the regular consignment stuff but it's brand new clothes not used um, so the first thing I got is from this brand T and Rose and it's just a nice midi skirt that I think will look cute high-waisted with like a plain white top and some sandals or something and this was $12.50 which wasn't that bad it's like the same price you would get at Forever 21 maybe cheaper this next top, I definitely bought with store credit. I wouldn't pay my own money. Well, I guess it is my own money, but I wouldn't have paid cash for this because it was expensive, and it's the brand Love Audrey 3 Plus 1. It's this, I'm going to have to stand for this, but it's this asymmetrical um, sweater. It's really long. It's pretty funny how I said that I don't like drastic asymmetrical, but the reason why I got this is because I was going to go to Washington, and I thought it would look really cute with like a long tunic dress under it and leggings, and oh yeah, I loved it. It really did look really nice, and I think it's so cute, and it's really comfy to layer. Next, I got this really cool taupe maxi skirt and this was $15 from Crossroads I featured it in my um, spring outfit of the day and I thought you know I really really want more maxi skirts just because they make me look taller especially if I wear them high waisted um, and I just love the material it's pretty thick actually like that's that's pretty thick yeah great find basic love it love these colors I was selling my clothes and I I was sitting right in front of the new sale racks and then this top was just in front of me and staring me down I was like look away Nadine don't buy it because it's mink pink and I know that's a pretty expensive brand but I I couldn't help myself so this is a nice flowy top I feel like you will get a better gist of it if I wear it but surprisingly this is an extra small and it fit and I'm not I'm like a small medium so um, I was really surprised that this fit me um, I got this for $25 I know but it's brand new and it is just I think it's just so darling and precious I don't know what bottoms to wear with this so if you guys have any ideas on what I could wear with this as a bottom please let me know it's really really flowy it doesn't fit me like tight at all so I would prefer that would be a tighter bottom but I kind of don't want to do leggings with it because I feel like it'll just look like I'm preco. So, I think this is my favorite find out of all of them. And then, this I didn't get at Crossroads, but it was just in the middle. I accidentally got a large, but thankfully it's high-waisted. So, <laughs> it was 16% off, or no, 20% off of 16. So, however the much that is. And I got this at a store called Sway in Santa Cruz. And it fits my hips, but not my waist. It, like, droops off my waist. And I know this is supposed to be high-waisted. But I was supposed to get the medium, but I flubbed. And I can't return it, but it works. And it's just this nice suede-like material. And it feels really cool. It's from the brand Cotton Candy. I love that brand. And, yeah. It has this nice pleats, too. And now I have the really consignment stuff. The, the second-hand stuff. So... Before I tell you guys what I think about this, I am pretty excited about it actually because I'm for some reason in love with chambray and denim right now. So it's like a t-shirt dress. It's like really long. So this was $9.50 and I got it half off. So whatever that is plus tax, got it for that much. And I think this will just look cute with like tights, like sheer tights and a belt. So we'll see what I do with this. But... It was a really cheap find, so I was just like, you know what, what do I have to lose? I have store credit, whatever. By the end of this haul, you'll be like, Nadine, why are you buying so many white things? But I'm totally into creams and whites right now. So this is just a little, like, knit top that I feel like will be good in the summer or spring when I go to the beach and make it a cover-up or something. And this was $9, and it's from the brand Loyla. Loyla? 
don't know that brand, but I just thought it was cute when I saw it. I was just like, hmm, cute. Hey, cute. So I'm really excited about the next two things because they're free people and I got them for an actually reasonable price. Um, I used to find free people stuff for like 20 bucks at Crossroads, but now they lowered it, I guess, to like 11 bucks. So the first thing I found is another baby doll, but I thought it was so cute and I feel like it's perfect for layering and wearing like a colorful scarf on it and I need to go accessory shopping. But this was $11 and it's just a nice drapey tunic kind of thing and I think it'll look so cute with like a really colorful bandeau under it or something so we'll see what I do with it and thankfully it was a size small I don't know how this would look if it was bigger because it's very loose um so yeah the next thing I found is also another free people piece I'm so excited about it just because I saw this in Santa Cruz I was at the Santa Cruz crossroads um and it's from Free People Beach and Megan and I were about to leave the store and then I saw this and I was like, oh, wait, I gotta buy this. This is what it looks like. It's just like a baby doll. It's really plain and it was only $12, I think. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this just because it's basic as well and I love my basics and I know that this will last a while because seriously, if I could afford regular Free People clothes, I would buy them all. I've been stalking the website but unfortunately, I can't afford that. So, Crossroads, thank you for selling free people. Another white thing, I got this little lace vest. Um, I feel like I'm going to be wearing vests a lot in the spring and summer. I just thought that this would be really cute over, like, really colorful plain dress or something. So, yeah, and this was $7. And to break out of the white thing that I, the white bug that I've caught, I found a giant shirt that looks like Jack Daniels and I thought it was so cool because you know I love my giants and I think that this will look really cute in the summer with like a high-waisted short or something so we'll see and I found this for five bucks and whenever I can find cheap Giants gear I like my heart is filled with joy because sports gear is so expensive so yeah, I'm so excited. So this is one of the priciest consignment finds as well. Um, I was so excited when I found this because I was contemplating on buying this from American Apparel for the longest time, but I honestly cannot afford $52 for a sheer shirt. So the reason why I got this is because, one, Mr. Kate has like the coolest colors of these, and she made me want to buy these and they have this little shoulder pads and it's just a sheer sheer top I feel like it'll go really well with a lot of things. But the thing about it, it has these these little shoulder pads and puffy sleeves and it has a higher neck which is weird that I'm liking this now but I just think the the sleeves are so flattering and they're so cute and I hope that I can find more of these in Crossroads because I want all the colors seriously but I cannot afford the $52 price tag on this. So I got this for 15 And then I got this for $6. It's a little like delicate um, tank top spaghetti strap. And I think it's good for layering. The reason why I got this is because I've been looking for kind of like a bustier, not bustier, but like a, I don't know, a sweetheart neckline tube top. And this is the best thing I can find right now. I don't like the bottom at all, but I feel like if I tuck it in with the high-waisted something, it will look really, really cute. So, yeah. And this is H&M. And then I had these bright, um, like, hippie-ish top. And it's from Forever 21 Boutique. And I just thought it was really cute. And I love the color, so I couldn't pass it up. And then the last clothing item that I bought is this, um, market t-shirt and I love my basics as you know but the thing that intrigued me about this was that it had a really really it's really long it's kind of like a dress but I wouldn't wear it as a dress because it's t-shirt but with leggings this looks really cute with like my combat boots and that was this was like the outfit that I wore in Washington with like my green anorak and stuff and it's just such a good t-shirt. I've been trying to invest in really good t-shirts instead of going to Forever 21 and stuff. Con Non has really good t-shirts too. But um, I got this for $10 and I think it's really cute. I think this was a new piece actually. So yeah, the only thing I'm really bummed about is a security tag left a hole. So whatever. 
it's just really cute. So that was the last bit of clothing stuff that I got. But I have a few little miscellaneous things. I got jewelry from Crossroads, which is kind of weird that I'm doing this right now. But please ignore the sound. Please ignore the sound. Please ignore the sound. Before I show you the Crossroads jewelry that I got, I wanted to show you something really special that my best friend Megan got me. It is so cute. I've wanted this for so, so long. You guys don't even know. But um, here it is. It's a forget-me-not ring. Look at that. It's so cute. Um, I don't know where she got this, but um, it is so precious. I'm so excited to wear this like every day. I'm seriously going to wear it every day. So thanks, Mego. And then I bought two other little rings. This one's really cool. Um, it has this like this cool detailing on it. And I like big rings, but not overly big. And I think that this one's perfect because it's not like overwhelming. Let's see, like that. Cha -cha -cha. This was $9.50 from Crossroads, which is meh, pricey, but I really want to start expanding and accessorizing more just because I feel like that just completes an outfit. And if you're wondering, my nails are Tartan Deco by Essie. This other ring that I got is just like an arrow ring, and I think it's so cool because it's just it's so weird. It's so simple. And this was $5, so it wasn't that big of a... A reach but I think it is so cool and I just can't I, I can't even put to words how much I'm excited about this jewelry stuff going on right now and then I got this leatherette bracelet and um, I'm really excited about this this was five dollars because it was half of a ten I just think it'll look good with like stacked with stuff so yeah that's what it looks like and then lastly, I got this really big purse. I've been looking for a black purse, and I know I just bought one, but it broke. Um, this one was a little pricey. It was $16, but, you know, at Forever 21, these big purses are like $25 now. So, um, I was actually really excited. It's the brand Dulux, du D-E-U-X-L-U-X. Um, the thing I liked about it is that it was really big and spacious. And then it had these like little pockets in the front and then this like flap over here. And it's a cross body and it can also be an over the shoulder kind of bag. Okay, so I got two more things that are kind of not clothing or thrift or anything related. But if I don't have these, I would probably run into so many things. Um, right now I'm wearing contacts of course, but these are my new glasses very nerdy um, they are Michael Kors I don't know if you can see that but Michael Kors and when I saw these I was like oh my gosh they're so cool I need them so much because I have like no bridge on my nose really like look at the I'm Filipino that's why so I have I don't really have a pointy nose but um, I need bigger glasses because my old glasses when I wore them they would like droop down to here and I couldn't see anything like up here and it was really annoying. So I got bigger glasses and I know it makes me look dorky, but luckily the big glasses thing is a trend right now. So whatever, but I need these actually to see very much so. If you can see how like magnified my hand is, or not magnified. Um, I'm really nearsighted and I have a negative 475 prescription. So yeah, I'm really blind. <laughs> And then the last thing I got is from my daddy, and he bought me the Naked 2, and I'm so excited because I've used it a lot already. Ta-da! There's my camera, and there's my little setup. Um, you guys have probably seen this, but I'm not going to do makeup tutorials, of course, because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm actually wearing the Naked 1 today. I'm wearing, like, the first color, I think it's like virgin or something, and then half-baked and then smog. Um, I actually got the look from Jen from Clothes Encounters and then I have a little bit of dark horse and stuff so I do wear eyeshadow now and stuff and I'm really excited because it makes me feel really girly and stuff but let's look at that again. Oh so pretty! So that's the end of my haul. My camera is about to run out of battery. Um, leave some requests down below if you guys want to see some specific things. I definitely have a few videos coming out for you guys in the upcoming weeks. I'm really excited. So I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!